From the award-winning KCIW Newsroom, Newsbreak. As of August 29th, the Smith Complex fire has burned some 74,000 acres, is only about 7% contained, and Caltrans says Highway 199 still closed from Hayuchi to the Agricultural Inspection Center, and there's no estimated time of reopening. Here in Curry County, Sheriff John Ward says he's keeping a very close eye on what's happening south and east as firefighters battle that blaze. Uh, yeah, we have been in contact with uh, Del Norte County. My emergency manager reached out to, to her or to them every day. I sp- actually spoke to Sheriff Scott this morning and offered again uh, any help that they need that, that don't hesitate to call us. And, you know, when Eric Apperson was sheriff, him and I were really good friends. And uh, and we said that there's no borders uh, between us, uh, like the California and Oregon border. We don't consider it a border. If they need help, we'll respond. If we need help, they'll respond. So who is in charge of emergency services here in Curry County? Who do you talk to when something comes up or who tells you, hey, 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 time to get moving? That's Ashley Thien. She used to be a corrections deputy for us years ago, um, but now she's working with emergency services and she's being overseen by the Board of Commissioners. So my question to you, Sheriff Ward, is what does Curry County have in place just in case we have some kind of a of an event like they're experiencing down in Del Norte County? Do we have a, a way to reach all residents, to tell them to evacuate? How do, how do we get the word out? Well, when it comes to evacuations, uh, we'll, we'll send out a notice over Everbridge, and then we'll automatically send all our deputies, uh, even whether they're off duty or not. We'll call them in and start going door to door to the ones that uh, are directly in line with the emergency. Well, I um, lived in San Diego before I moved here to Brookings, and in San Diego County, there's a reverse 911 system. Is that what the Everbridge does? Is it is it similar to that? It's similar, but you have to be have to sign up on it to get to notifications. So, for instance, if there's a the fire in the Agnes, you know the flat fire, we were able to put out uh, to everybody that signed up on that a notification of what's going on, and then deputies went door to door after that, and then. Uh, posted signs up in like local places like uh, the, the Cougar Lane store and the old Agnes store and the Agnes Arby's area. So, and then we, we asked that they spread the word as well. So, and it worked pretty well. Now, Sheriff Ward says he also regularly updates his Facebook page, Curry Justice, with news and information, but he recommends everyone go to the Curry County website and register with Everbridge. Everbridge is the Curry County Emergency Alert System, but you must register with the county to be part of it. Now, the county's website is co.curry.or.us. Again, co.curry.or.us. For KCIW News, I'm Lori Gallo-Stoddard.